Okay, today is Wednesday. I had a good time last night. Watched We Are the Champions on Netflix, the Bronner Brothers competition, the Hair Fantasy Show was on there. Of course, my guy Dallas Christopher, phenomenal job. It was just so over the top with the hair and everything else. Dallas really brought the polish to it, made it look really good. Erica was amazing. She's the show manager. Of course, Stephanie was great in the beginning, and then all the hairstylists, they were awesome perfect for TV, like great job guys. Today, I need to work on my book. That is top priority. I have to meet with my editor tomorrow, virtually. Have to go to Lithonia, meet with the sign company guy, maybe shoot some more videos, maybe a podcast today. I'm trying to do the podcast Tuesday and Thursday, Hair Biz Radio, make sure you check that out. It's really good. You know, I'm looking for more guests. I have some ideas of some awesome people to be on there. Look, let's get it today. Every day, finishing out 2020, working every day, nonstop, we have to go. We've got to make moves for our clients. That's what it comes down to. If our clients win, we win. So let's put this thing in sport mode and get over to the office. All right, here at the office, let me tell you what I need. A cup of coffee. <laughs> I really only drink decaf. Occasionally, I'll do a little half and half. See this Keurig here? Don't buy this Keurig. Like, it's nice and everything. It trips our breaker. Coffee just got a little bit more complicated. Do, 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 do. I know what you're thinking. You're probably looking at these shoes. Those are some of the coolest, hottest shoes you've ever seen. And I have to tell you, you're right. All right, here in Lithonia, things are looking pretty good. I don't know, you can see that floor behind me. The floor is finished and looks fantastic. The reason why it just kind of ends here is I am building a wall. So the wall will be right here that will separate the showroom right here. It will separate the showroom, which will be up front here, obviously, near the door. There's the sign guy right there, as you can see him. And then there's gonna be a wall so we can have the storage and such in the back. I think this should be just enough space for the showroom. I just ordered the front desk that is 15 feet wide. So we'll see how that turns out. That's gonna be going across here. We'll have a little space on both ends. They still need to paint in here. It's gonna look exactly the same as we have in Charlotte. So we're gonna paint this, paint that. That should look really good. I'm not a huge fan of the four inch baseboard, but we're gonna leave it because it's already here. We are possibly making a little bit of change to the name and the logo to uh, advance for 2021 and the future. So that will be interesting to see. I can't wait to share that with you. Private label can be a lot more than just what you think. We want to cater to our clients. We got a lot of feedback about stuff, what they would like to see in our store, and maybe the name private label extensions it doesn't make 100% sense at this point. So we got to do a little slight update. Same thing, but a little update. So I'll keep you guys informed. We're working on that right now. Before I do three signs, like this is something I want to do next year. And I'm like, wait a second, I'm about to spend $15,000 on signs in Charlotte, Lithonia, and Detroit. I got to do this now because that's expensive and all the other stuff to change this. So it's a big mess. So I think it's gonna go well with the sign guy. I gotta get the measurements for the board outside and uh, we'll see what's up. All right, so I just met with a sign guy. I think it went pretty well. They've done work at the shopping center before. It was a referral from the property management group. So one thing I always like to do is say, who's the sign company you guys work with that know kind of the specifications and everything for the shopping center? Because different shopping centers will have different rules and regulations, which is generally in the lease that will talk about what you can do as far as signage at the shopping center center specifically. So I should have an estimate probably in the next day or two. Now a little stinger and a dinger is that the signs generally take three to four weeks for installation. I plan on opening this up before three to four weeks. It might be kind of close, but I'm not going to let a sign hold me back. If I have to open up and there's no sign, I don't really care. I'm opening this boy up. We already ordered the counter, which should be delivered hopefully next week. Cameras, point of sale. I think there's an opportunity for like an Instagram wall in there. So I'm going to have to look at that. The space should be done this week. They're going to start framing it tomorrow I'll probably do the paint the day after i'll keep you guys updated now i just got a call because i emailed my ref at comcast about getting comcast here literally dealing with comcast i might as well be dealing with north korea i hate comcast comcast is so bad that for the residential they renamed it xfinity that's why that's their branding strategy oh we're just horrible because they get locked you in these contracts there's no one else i can use they're expensive i wish there was google fiber here i called for the charlotte store and 
Google Fiber doesn't, they're like, oh, it's not listed. I was like, no, the Google Fiber is in there. Like I have a photo of it. Anywhere you can get fiber, it's gonna be cheaper and you'll have a much better upload speed, which is real important for camera performance. It's just a mess dealing with Comcast. I, Comcast, I'm sorry, but I don't like you. You know, oh, you have to get a phone with it and this and that. No, I don't want all that. They, they make it so complicated. It's literally communism. Back here at Private Label. Let's check on the team real quick. TikTok, TikTok, 2.0, how are we looking? Temperature check? Looking good, looking good. What am I at, what am I at? 97.1, dang, I'm cold. 97.1, pretty good. Yeah, that looks good. 2.0, how's our logo looking? I think the X is a little bit, I think that's extended a little too long. It's a little too long. Let me take a photo of that real quick to send it over. Is that a different font? Why does that look different? Same font? I haven't changed anything. I'm just moving it around. Uh-huh. Because... Oh, dang, somebody office looking better than mine. <laughs> just kidding. No, but it looks good. What's up, what up, what up, what up, what up? Look, I don't need you guys saying Mikey didn't do much today, I didn't see much action. I spent a couple hours working on this book, editing it. It just takes so much time to get all the information right. You want it looking good. I gotta have this thing right. So it's hours and hours and hours just to make sure. When Fearless Beauty comes out, yeah, people are gonna like it. So we'll have to see what happens. For now, I gotta go home because I'm still not done and I have a call tomorrow about 10 o'clock with the publisher to go over the editing and everything else. Uh, let me go home so I can go to work. Hello Thursday. I have been tirelessly working on my book. I'm on chapters five and six. It's all written out. I'm just going through the editing process. I have a call at 10 a.m. with my editor. We're gonna go through the changes and everything else. It's really important to me. This book is it's a labor of love. It's been going on for, I think, five, six months already working on this project. It's gonna launch in about, uh, hopefully, March. So obviously, there's gonna be a lot of videos and other stuff around it as we get closer. I have to make this thing really, really good. Like, I think I'm in that like self-doubt portion of the book, which is common. So I've done a lot of research on reading books and everything else, or excuse me, writing books. And they say that you'll go through like the self-doubt portion and you have to just kind of break through it. So that's what I'm doing because this is my first book. I don't know what to expect and it's an amazing learning process. So like a lot of my uh, viewers, all five of you, it's your first time going through starting a hair brand, which I've started, you know, thousands for clients. I understand I'm kind of going through that same kind of emotional period where I'm like, am I doing this right? Am I overthinking things? Is this good? Is it bad? What's going on? No ideas. So I'm gonna have my call here shortly with my editor. I'm excited to get through this because there's only gonna be one more real editor call and then, you know, fill in the blanks with some other stuff. Still working on some of these blurbs. I got my big one that I'm hoping for would be major. Don't know if it's gonna happen. I'm really reaching for the stars. All you can do is try. Let me get back to editing this book. So when we said something of like, it's a big issue in industry where people People want to get so girly and I think we made a good point about that in the book you know I wanted to say like give them an example of a font Comic Sans is one of those fonts some people will use I made the mistake of using it back in 2016 in my business my first business believe it or not it's just not the look you really want for a beauty brand it's too kiddish okay just had a great call with my editor the book is looking good only two chapters left I'm pushing it she wanted to go after Thanksgiving for the final edits of the last two chapters because it's real important one of them's marketing so I know that's like crucial for everyone that's gonna be reading the book. I said, no, let's get it done before Thanksgiving. I wanna get this in motion. Then it goes to like another editor. Then I gotta add all the images and other kind of visuals in the book. But it's like 11 o'clock or getting close to 11 o'clock. I'm still in my house sleepy clothes. So let's get ready, head to that office. I'm having a little trouble deciding what shoes I should wear today. So let's see what we got here. There's a couple of different options. I got some new shoes that came in. We got these right here. You gotta have some fresh shoes at the office. Those boys look pretty tight. Kevin Durant's, I've only worn those once. Those are looking pretty good. I don't know, I'm feeling kinda having some fun today. So to have fun, I like to wear a crazy shoe. Oh, 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 oh. You probably haven't seen anybody wearing those. Maybe because they're either so ugly or they're so hard to get. Let's just hope they're hard to get. Hmm, I wonder which ones I'm gonna be wearing today. All right, so the framers are supposed to be at Lithonia today. 
I have no idea if they're actually there or what's going on. So when you're getting these spaces, one of the things you have to do is make sure that you have the fire extinguishers in the space. So I called a company that's supposed to come out today. I don't know if I'm supposed to have one or two. I usually just go with an extra one. Fire marshal's generally pretty happy about that. It's pretty cheap. It's about $100 per fire extinguisher per year. You can get on a contract. They'll come back and recharge them and do whatever they do to them for that $100 or whatnot the next year. That way you know everything's safe and the fire marshal's not gonna be pissed off because you don't want to piss off the fire marshal. Okay, that's one person you do not want to make mad. Ooh, it's sunny out. Let's get some sunglasses on, shall we? You guys probably wondering what shoes I decided to wear. I'm not gonna show you just yet, so don't skip ahead too fast. This is our studio here. Can't really shoot right now because of COVID. We don't want models in here. Look at this. I had to get one so big because obviously we are the champions of long hair here at Private Label Extensions. Almost six feet tall, probably like five and a half feet. That's for the long, long, long hair. You don't need that. You need like the other one, just the regular one. That guy's having so much fun. Look at him, TikTok. <laughs> Busted, busted, TikToking. That was 2.0, dancing. He's all hyped up. He had a lot of coffee. I got strong coffee here, loves it. So I think this fire extinguisher company, they're based up north. So we have this guy that drove all the way over to Lithonia. The job is only putting two fire extinguishers, as I mentioned earlier. So it's only like $200 job. So this is really wasting this guy's time if he drove all the way there and didn't get to do the work. That's why I'm heading over there to get this done because I feel bad for the guy, even though this is a complete waste of my time not my fault the contractors they do not take the keys out of the lockbox and leave with the key that's like a big no-no it's gonna be hell to pay a little bit for mr joey yeah not real happy about this an hour at least it's gonna cost me at least an hour of my time and i just don't have time today so when you take an additional hour out you know we're talking it's hard to make that up and i got a lot to do today a lot to accomplish uh it is what it is let's hope there's not too much traffic and i don't get caught speeding all right so we're almost here there it is right over here that's the shopping center so the property management group didn't tell me that some guy was coming in the unit today took the key walked off with it you're the guy who took the key from the log box where where you been yeah he needed to get in so i had to drive all the way down here and i gotta drive all the way back and i'm yelling at my contractor and now it was somebody else i apologize uh, I, oh sorry right. i gotta make sure that i change that lockbox code so people can't just get in here when i get started not even joey's fault i could have killed joey let's see what joey says i don't say that don't belong to them. No, no. joey's off the hook i don't know who this guy is property management didn't tell me as you saw that traffic going back is the worst thing in the whole world okay let's see how long it's going to take 34 minutes i don't think so they have to have me on some other route let's go all right i'm back total time wasted about an hour 30 minutes had to stop at qt get one of my favorite unsweet iced teas javier what's up man now i'm like way behind for the day welcome to the life about to shoot this podcast let's go check that out oh, oh he knew what was coming too Oh, dang, you got the monitor set up now? We're extra legit today. Got the Rodecaster Pro? Look at that thing. If we knew how to use those buttons for like sound effects, be like wah, 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 cha-ching. That's what we need. Got the mics. We ready, guys. So we're gonna try to record, I'd say at least two, maybe three episodes. Next week is Thanksgiving, this, that, the other. We gotta be consistent. Do you know what the podcast is gonna be about? No, me either, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Let's go. Make sure you're checking out Hair Biz Radio. If you want to have a hair business, you're an entrepreneur, you're going to love it. I am absolutely loving the new setup here at Hair Biz Radio for many reasons. We got Dawi right there setting up the cameras. Everything's looking good. Same mics as before, which we had great mics. Same roadcaster. Really, it's just a setup. We got some of these other lights. It's kind of, it's really blue. I added some blinds in my office to help control the lighting. We got like those things. I don't, Dobby, what are those called? Diffusers? Flags. Flags, we got flags. 
not like an American flag, but like a light flag. So that helps control the lighting. We got one over there. Dowie in the control center over here. Everything set up pretty legit. Pairbiz radio, we started in 2017. Can you believe it? In and out with consistency, to be honest, which is sucks. The episodes are so good. I think we're back now, now that we have like our video guy and sound, he can do sound, so video and sound. We can do the editing real easy. Everything's looking good. So I'm excited to bring this podcast back because it's something really special. So you got the camera there. What if we just put like, you want like the logo here? We need some marketing on Hairbiz Radio, by the way. Look at this setup, guys. This is fully set up now. Camera one on Zakira. Camera two on me. Camera three on we. You want a logo up there? If we want to really increase the subscriber base and the watch base, maybe we should just put a picture of me on the monitor. All right, guys, I got to get ready. We're about to start recording this. Make sure you're checking out hair biz radio all right we just finished recording two episodes time for me to grab something to eat plus give these cameras a break so if you know anything about like cameras like this this is a uh, sony a7 III. they can record for about 30 minutes and then they start to overheat this new one the sony a7s3 that one should be able to record like forever so we'd like to cut these off let them cool off a little bit before we start back up we're going to start having guests which i'm excited about with this roadcaster thing they have the ability here to add a cell phone and have a cell phone connection so that's really cool. We're gonna start having some really cool guests here on the podcast very soon. So I'm excited about that. Of course, all our previous guests were great. Our podcast is just on the whole nother level. These episodes look so good. Every time I look at them, like we have like a real studio looking podcast. It looks great. The content pretty good too. So make sure you listen to Hair Biz Radio. If you have like your podcast app, you can just go on your podcast app. So it's just like that top icon podcast. You just click podcast. See, you have all the podcasts here. Hair Biz Radio. Radio, you can see it there. I actually think that's an old cover. I want to update the cover because you can see that's like the old cover. It's not really good looking. It was kind of cool a couple years ago, but we can update that. So we got to get like a good photo and everything. If one more person tries to spam my start a hair business group with these $5 stupid logos of cartoons i literally am gonna throw them off a cliff yeah time to record again i hear dallas next door he's recording more videos we are going video crazy to end 2020 going into 2021 it's gonna be huge giving out all the information everybody needs to know for their hair business it's so rewarding and exciting creating success stories left and right i'm excited our manager for charlotte that we hired she's coming down to atlanta sunday she's gonna start training with us on monday i might not be here so I might not meet her yet. Our new thing is for new managers at stores, they have to train with us here in Atlanta for about two weeks before we can let them go wild in their own store. Of course, we're gonna be up there in the store working with them, but just saying. Today so far has been good. We recorded three episodes of the podcast. That way we'll have them ready for next week just because next week's gonna be hectic. Hopefully we can record some maybe next week. I don't even know if we can record no one next week, but we got some in the bank, which I was talking about. Getting ahead when doing this stuff to be consistent. It always helps to have the extra media created ahead ahead of time so you can publish it later. Like Dallas, he's recording these two minute tips. He has about 15 or 20 already recorded. They're already in our YouTube channel. They're just gonna be sent out like every week to a week or so. You know, he's got 10 weeks already saved up. That's how you have to do it for your hair business. We're trying to do more of practice what we preach, getting this stuff set up. It's not always easy, especially with trying to open these three stores. You guys already saw, Joey's off the hook today. Joey, you were almost in big trouble with me. I don't know who this guy was just in our unit sent by the property management. Lithonia is coming along. I think the counter ship, so I should be able to show you guys the counter. It looks pretty good. Yeah, I gotta just keep going. I got more work to do, so let's go. Let's go see what Dallas is doing. Hi, Dallas. Hi there. How are you? I'm well. How, are you? How many cameras? You got one camera here, oh, camera here, lights, this, that thing there, yeah. this here. Yeah, this is the here. And then, what, the question is, why is that? Not standing up yet. Why is that not being used? It will be used, definitely. I just figured out how to look, use it yesterday. We will be using that a lot. I hear that's gonna be used a lot. I didn't hear like that's gonna be a lot used a lot starting tomorrow. <laughs> Okay. That's going to be used a lot starting tomorrow. Possibly tonight. Oh. Possibly tonight. Okay, look at Dallas's studio. Dallas studio legit, guys. It is. It's very legit. Look at that camera's eye view right here. You're going to see all these new videos on private label extensions. Dallas, I'm excited about our YouTube channel, by the way. Listen, I'm very excited. I saw some of the stuff and the work looks great. Like, we are always, always filming. You filmed all day long today. Like, I was in here trying my best to be a quiet little mouse. Oh, Dallas, we... 
Me being quiet? No, that Look, doesn't work. We did a lot of filming today. We really want to step up our private label channel. We have so much information to give. I think we're about two years. I'm manifesting two years out. We're gonna have like a legit studio and we're gonna have hairstylists come in all day yes. and shoot. Whether they work with private label or not, it's gonna get them exposure, new stylists. We're gonna do education, all sorts of stuff. And it's gonna be legit. I'm gonna give it two years. End of 2022, beginning of 2023, we're gonna have something for the hair industry video base that is the best in the whole entire industry industry. It sounds amazing and I cannot wait. And I know you guys are thinking of like, wait, did he say like two years out? Yes, I'm planning at least two years out on a lot of these projects, some projects three years. It's all about the long game in business. Too many of you guys are playing this short game. Of course, you have your short-term goals. Make sure you have your long-term goals, even if they're so big. A couple years ago, I would have been like, there's no way we're doing that. Oh my gosh, what is this over here? A laptop. I forgot to give this laptop away. Sorry, guys, I've been so busy. I have a laptop right here, so let me go get in that Facebook group and maybe give them one more day to like leave that comment. As you know, we give away, I mean, we just give away a laptop almost about every single week now, really to help black entrepreneurs get a level up. A lot of people are working from their phones, kids are working from home, have school from home, and they don't have computers. So we're doing our best to give back to the community. So let me get on this, let me figure out, let me do a little post in the group, get this laptop given away tonight, all right? Dang, I almost forgot to show you the shoes I chose today. Okay, I had to wear these today. Lord Butler, do you approve? He doesn't know if he likes them yet. Oh, Lord, that's Lord Butler. I had to wear these. I love to wear like plain clothes, but then just some crazy shoes, just for fun. And those makeup wipes, this is a quick life hack. Those makeup wipes by like Maybelline or something like that, I don't know who makes them, but you know, you wipe your face to take off the makeup. Those are the best for cleaning the white soles of your shoes. Little tip, guys, little tip.